What's up everybody? Red Thorn here from Red Thorns Gaming. Lady Soon Revolution is the name of the game. Fortress Siege coming at you. Eternal vs. Enigma. This is the third time that I have recorded them. So I am calling this Eternal vs. Enigma 3. Have they fought before? Yes, many times from my understanding. But I haven't recorded it. So for naming convention purposes only, Eternal vs. Enigma 3. Let's check out their combat power for the clan. Alright. We are looking for... There is Eternal and there is Enigma. That is a big change from the last time that I checked it, which was about an hour ago. Eternal, I think, was ahead by 12 million. And now they are only ahead by less than two. That is outstanding. So we know combat power doesn't mean anything. That's really close. This should be a good fight. Let's head into the battlefield. Here we go. Battlefield. Fortress Siege. Eternal versus Enigma. And by the way, there were a total of 15 votes and Eternal won. And that was between my YouTube video, the people who voted on my YouTube video, and the people who voted on Discord. Nobody voted on Facebook and Twitter, or Tumblr. So, hey, this is what you get. I'm here for the people, the voting people. Eternal, on top. Mr. Anderson, leader. What's up, Mr. Anderson? Let's zoom out here, there we go. Coming on down here, more people. Good luck to Eternal. Heading on down to Enigma in the red. Looking for their leader. Can we find him in time? And then there, there she is. 60 seconds before we begin. Rika Loves Hugs is the leader. Running around. All right. Enigma are the attackers. I will be following them as per usual. Start on down here. 30 seconds before we begin. Shout out to Chiraki. She wanted, she asked me to do a shout out. So shout out to Chiraki. 10 seconds before we begin! 5 seconds before we begin. And... Here we go! Eternal versus Enigma, number 3. Should be a good fight. Here comes Enigma heading up here. Dr. Kuo. Started to do some damage. Looks like both teams were interrupted on their imprint. Eternal trying again. They are... Oh, there goes the first defensive tower of the non-spawn gate of Eternal. And this second one is pretty much done as there are no Eternal here. Because they are too busy trying to get to the imprints. Nasilla Stopping those coming in. Eternal has gotten their 10% buff. They are working on Enigmas now. They're halfway through Enigmas. And they were interrupted. Eternal trying again. Eternal halfway. Eternal, three seconds. No, interrupted. Eternal is dominating this fight right now. Enigma may have taken the non-spawn gate of Eternal down. That's a bit all they did. Eternal, three seconds, two seconds, one second, and they have gotten a 30% buff for the next two minutes. And no doubt they are going to come over to this non-spawn gate and start to wreck these defensive towers. And they are doing so. That tower is done. This tower is over halfway done and gone. Enigma setting up a defense. Trying to stop Mr. Anderson from getting any imprint time. But Eternal is coming here somewhat in force. Now they're bringing the whole team here. 
Where are the red? They're all over the place. Mr. Anderson got some time, and that's all he got. There goes the Holy Artifact Defense Tower, giving Mr. Anderson some breathing room. This other one is going down quickly. Over half dead. Less than 27 minutes remaining in this battle. And Enigma is being rocked back on your heels right now. Mr. Anderson got some more time. Enigma is here in force themselves. But I have a feeling they're going to be playing a defensive game. Eternal's Alter Imprint is ready to be imprinted and they have started and interrupted and starting again. That is the defense tower of the spawn gate of Enigma. Enigma managed to interrupt Eternal again on Eternal's Alter Imprint. Looks like Riku tried to get some time. And Enigma is doing a good job of preventing Eternal from getting their own Alter Imprint right now. Taking that timer for Enigma's Alter down. But Eternal, three seconds, two seconds, one second, and he, oh, interrupted. Good defense by Enigma. Enigma's trying to get their own. Eternal's trying to get their own. Both were interrupted. Eternal trying again. Trying for both. Interrupted on their own. Still getting Enigmas. Interrupted on their own. Still getting Enigmas. Enigma, you need to stop them. One second. And Eternal has gotten Enigma's alter imprint. Not looking good for Enigma this round. Rika! Oh! 11 seconds of Holy Artifact imprint time! And she's been killed, but they've got the lead now! And both the Holy Artifact defense towers of Eternal have been taken down. Enigma still has a Holy Artifact defense tower. I say Enigma has got to be ahead by what 11 to 11 to 4, 11 to 5, and there goes that Holy Artifact defense tower. Bloody awesome came in there and just completely destroyed it. What was remaining of its life? Enigma not backing down from the 30% buff. Are they trying to stop them from... Well, the spawn gate of Enigma is down. And Enigma is here trying to push their way back out. Don't get too focused on that, Enigma. Looks like Enigma is not gemming for Resurrection. It is kind of early. Mr. Anderson goes down. Rika got close, sort of. Got over halfway. Less than 23 minutes remaining. Whatever they did before, I don't know if it's going to work again, Enigma. But she definitely got Rika up there. And got some Holy Artifact imprint time for sure. And there she goes right now. She is running too fast for me. 
fast runner for such short legs. Eternal only has 20, 20 seconds remaining on Enigma's imprint and 28 seconds remaining on their own. Got a little skirmish going on up here, maybe. Well, there's Rika. Face down, butt up. Anderson's been killed. Eternal trying to go for Enigmas. Enigmas trying to go for Eternals. That was outstanding to see. Eternal about to get Enigmas. They've gotten it. It doesn't look like Enigma is going to get any buffs in this fight. They managed to interrupt Eternal on Eternal's Alter Imprint. Eternal's trying again. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Eternal with another 30% buff for two and a half minutes. How are they going to take advantage of this? Big fight going on over here. Or just a lot of dots on, on the screen at least. Eternal's spawn gate is still 100% healthy. That was the blue team. So Anderson killed again, but he's catching up to Rika's big Holy Artifact imprint time that she got. 20 and a half minutes remaining in this battle. I wonder if he has a resurrect and he was waiting to use it or not. look like it. Too many red around here for him to do anything anyways. Rika goes down. Anderson, Mr. Anderson's back. <coughs> Interrupted, but he's getting, he's getting more time. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, doesn't matter. It adds up if he keeps doing it, obviously. So let's see what's going on here. Rika is mixing it up with the rest of her clan and was killed. <laughs> Poor Rika. Look at all these bodies laying around. Holy moly. That's outstanding. A lot of blue here. Where's Mr. Anderson? He's got to be on his way here. He's all by himself. He's going to get a ton of time here. Yep, they've already caught up. They've already caught up and taken the lead, no doubt, by now. Eternal has gotten a nick. No, wow, I take that back. Interrupted at the last second. Oh, he, he got another 16 seconds, though. Nigman's going to need to to push very hard right now to catch up. Yeah, their whole team here, pretty much, to stop him from, from completing that imprint. Less than 18 minutes to go. Eternal has gotten a 30% buff again for the next 2 minutes and 31 seconds. And why are they all going out that way? Well, it looks like it's about half and half, maybe. The 
Anderson back at it again. A lot of red around him though. He got a couple of seconds there. Eternal's looking to end this fight. They've gotten that 30% buff enough times to do it. But Enigma's just not having it right now. However, Eternal has 800 plus kills to Enigma's 355 and counting. Mr. Anderson, trying again. 10 seconds before he wins this battle. Two seconds, and congratulations to Eternal for successfully defending their B-grade fortress. Congratulations to Death by Elbow, taking number one. Here are your stats. Not too shabby of a fight. And there are your stats. 58, maybe 70 people. I mean, if you count all the ties, I don't think either clan was, was full, but I guess it didn't matter. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Eternal takes that one from Enigma, successfully defending. The other battle that went on was Xenocide versus Andromeda. Let's see how they did. And Xenocide, whom I was told were stacked by Brotherhood, managed to defeat Andromeda. So congratulations to Xenocide, the attacking clan, taking the B-grade fortress. Congratulations to Eternal for successfully defending the B-grade fortress. Ladies and gentlemen, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. If you want to do things with me. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you again.